back here at uh, 308 Productions uh, with Lee Ellis and his uh, drummer Nasty Nate. What's up? <clears throat> Good morning, gentlemen. Uh, Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to talk a little bit this morning about um, y'all's trip to Nashville to the uh, Nashville Universe Awards. I uh, understand that uh, Nate, you was up for uh, Drummer of the Year. Yes, sir. Uh, you were nominated. nominated and, uh, Lee, you was actually nominated for quite a few well, different nominated. awards. Uh, and then finalist for the and then Rising Star Award. And for Rising Star Award. Um, it, that's a pretty uh, big event, uh, Nashville Universe Awards. Um, it's a lot of uh, big names attend oh, yeah. there. Uh, there's a lot of big, uh, of, uh, I guess you'd say, CMT comes there, uh, GAC, all those. Yeah, uh, NBC was there with the people from Nat, the show yeah. Nashville was there. Right. The uh, Bachelor guy was there. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of big, a lot stars of big stars that show up there, and a lot of uh, big country artists. Um, a lot of producers uh, from big labels go there. And uh, so, I mean, that's it's 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 a pretty street, you know, <laughs> prestigious just to um, even be a part of it, right. you know, and uh, it's not really just open up to the public right. to come in and, exactly. and be a part of it. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a big deal to right. be a part of it. Um, so, yeah, being nominated even, whether you make it to the finals or not, is still, you know, that's that's something to, you know, say, hey, you yeah, know, yeah. That, that's a pretty big deal. Right. Um, uh, yeah, uh, and you was nominated and made it to the finals for a Rising Star. Um, like I said, that's a, a a pretty big jump in a year's time. In a year's time, exactly. Um, a lot of people go, you know, three and four years without even making it that far. And so the, thing, the girl that won, she's actually on a big time label now. That's how she yeah. got right. She signed with a that major label. So. Right. So I mean yeah. that that's right. that's huge. Right. Um, being able to get into that and being able just to attend a award show and being able to rub elbows right, exactly. and, and be around people, you know, next year they'll know your name exactly. and know you even more when you get back there. That's what, that's what makes it a huge difference. Um, so how did you enjoy the award show? Did you? Uh, it, was awesome. uh, it, was, it was different. Get like to meet said, a lot of people different. and. A lot of different cool people. A lot of people. Really? Different. Way um, different. We got to meet some uh, relatives of a legend while we were there. So, yeah. uh, that's Buddy always going to be cool. Yeah, we, and we got to hang out with them. And that was, we were up in the cheap seats and it was pretty awesome. Got to meet famous songwriter Tim Ledford. We got to meet uh, Todd Taylor, the world's fastest banjo player. So that was really awesome. I mean, here, you're standing right here with these people. Right. The guy from The Bachelor was right here with us. I mean, it's just uh, the guy with Colt Ford, that DJ guy that does all the mixing for Colt Ford was there. I mean, it was just, it's just crazy. And, and here we are with them. And it's like I said, too, it, it's a huge deal that the public is not, right. you know, just right off the street. Yeah, and it's weird. It was just, I mean, you couldn't even tell. I mean, it was just right. like a, like a back it's, it's door like a deal. Who's who you know? type deal because... Right. You know, people just didn't walk off. Right, the they didn't advertise they it. They hadn't been invited yeah, to be yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. And, and it's kind of like being uh, at, at the CMAs, um, unless you're with a member, right. then, then you're not just invited. Exactly. I mean, you're not off the street. Right, exactly. You, you have to be a member to get right. the tickets. Exactly. And, or either be with somebody that is a member to get right. the tickets. So, you know, and... To be able to play at the CMA or anything like that, or play at Nashville Universe, you have to be a member exactly. and, and be a part of. So it's yeah, it's, it's kind of right. you know, like I said, it's it's a big deal. Oh yeah. Um, and being able to meet all the people that's there and you know talk to people and get them to know your name exactly, get your name in that there. year's time exactly, that's man, amazing. that's that's huge. And Nate, uh, it's huge to be as a drummer mm -hmm. to go there there's hundreds and hundreds of drummers that out of work in Nashville that's, that plays really well mm -hmm. looking for work and can't even and, and can't even get a session um 
that you know can play as good as 90 percent of the drummers out there mm -hmm. um but for you just to come in and, and be a drummer for like for lee ellis and then he's only been out for a year right to jump in and, and now be nominated as a the, it was a big best deal, drummer. Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, I mean that that shows Consider that we got a lot. You know, we were, were not boys. in. Yeah, we yeah, were the new boys, and right, and we only had a month to vote before. I mean, we didn't. Right. Even, I, and that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. you had to have a name already for yourself Correct. prior, right? To to for people to say, oh well, I know this guy. You yeah. know, otherwise you'd have been just another name out there. Correct. So I mean it, it makes a lot of difference, um, and. You know, it, it's phenomenal how much has went on in this year. Uh, yeah, and so the winner is and the winner of the musician was was Kelly Pickler's drummer. So I mean, he's assigned yeah. to a major label. So I mean, right. here he's competing. You know, it ain't just like it was a small time deal. That was so cool. That was what was so cool about it. And I, and that's what I say. I mean, yeah, it, different. It, it wasn't just somebody off right. the street. No, no, coming to drum right. with you. Right. That made it such right. a big deal. Exactly. Um, he he already had a name right. for himself, right. yeah. and teaming up with you just right. made it that much Went better, more, you exactly. know, for Lee Ellis Outlaw exactly. Country, and of course Nate, he, he you know, yeah, he's coming from the brother. background, he has you know, <laughs> they named a, they, he's got the nasty Nate now. They started calling me Mister Outlaw, which was cool, but yeah, and it was just neat how yeah. the people just started, you know. Well, they changed it from Outlaw Country, Country to, to fans, fans changed yeah. it to. Lee Ellis and the, the Outlaws. outlaws. So, yeah. so that immediately made me an outlaw, which I've been most of my life. So that's yeah. good to go. <laughs> I mean, you know, when this outlaw uh, craze, I guess, came back, um, I remember a year ago uh, when when Lee came to 308 Productions, um, there, there wasn't an outlaw movement um, really started. Uh, I remember back Jamie Johnson when he when he started, it was kind of a, uh, you know, he was he was kind of one starting the outlaw movement from, you know, from where the old outlaws had it. Right. Um, and then you had um, Waylon Jennings' son, uh, Shooter Jennings. Jennings. Yeah. He was trying to make that move to bring the outlaw country back, and uh, people just wasn't having it. Uh, they they wasn't into it, mm -hmm. um, and when 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 Lee came and, and was, you know, when he first come here and told me he wanted to be outlaw country, um, our conversation went to we were talking about, uh, you know, outlaw country is going to be a hard pill to swallow because. You just don't, you know, you're not going to get airplay. Um, people is not just going to adapt to it and right. make it happen. Yeah. Um, and at first it wasn't really. It was rough. It was, it was tough. Rough. Um, it was like laying on a nail coffin, man. Yes. Yeah. And, and there was a lot of other artists out right. there that, that yeah. was like, you know, what is outlaw? Right. Who, what you know, makes you outlaw? What makes yeah. you outlaw? Right. What makes you think you're right. outlaw? Uh you know, and it uh, outlaws a state of mind. Right. It's it's how you live. It's a part it's of the way you are. Right. It's your expression of how right, you exactly. live. Um, it's not a thing that makes you outlaw right. or or anything. And I think uh, I I'll just blatantly say it the way I feel. Um, the bottom line uh, around the southeast. Uh, Lee Ellis was the one that, that brought Outlaw back around the southeast Agreed. side. Agreed. Uh, I, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, right. He he stuck with it. He stuck to his guns. Um, pissed a lot of people off. Um, they talked a lot of crap. That's Outlaw. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And like you and, said, it's going to take and, at least six months or so for it to... Yeah. And it and took it about did. six, seven and, months before And a lot really... of people talked junk about right. it. And, right. you know, and... and now some of the people that talked about it is claiming to be outlaw too. Right. You know. Right. So it is what it is. Exactly. You know, and hey, 
You stick to your guns and, and, and don't back down. And If your music has attitude, it will fit. That's and right. our music has attitude. There you go. And, uh, our music definitely has attitude. You're going to have people that's going to, you know, be haters and, and you're going to have people that don't like what you're doing. And, and you know, I learned um, from from people that's taught me in the business and the producers that's taught me in the business. Um, a lot of people didn't like them. Um, a lot of people didn't like their style. Um, and I did. And that's what's got me where I am now, uh, is doing my own thing by following their rule of, hey, do it your way and don't worry about what the hell everybody else says. Exactly. And that's why I am where I am now. Exactly. Um, with taking Lee and you, Nate, uh, mm -hmm. and and um, building off of what we all want and think is what's best for for Lee Ellis and the Outlaw Country. That's uh, it. You know, it, it's not the norm. No. Um, it's not perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not auto-tuned. It's not... No. It's just raw, <coughs> it's, it's, it's outlawed. <coughs> what you hear is what you get, and when you hear it out live, it ain't going to be no different. There you go. It's going to be the same. But what's so cool, that's what our fans expect. That's what they want. They don't want the pop. They don't want the loop. They want real country. And, and that's what they're getting. And that's what they're getting from us. And, and we make no bones about it. We have no apologies. And most people come to us, come to us say we have an attitude. And a chip on our shoulder, and we've been told by TV hosts to keep it there, because it works for us. Because we don't care what the industry thinks; we only care about what our fans think and what they want. And that's basically our number one goal. If yeah. our fans are happy, that's that's it for us. The bottom line is, if you don't have fans, you're not going to be in business. Um, this is not. This is not basketball. Mm -mm, right. This is not NASCAR. Exactly. It's it's not a team thing. Um, this is an individual thing. For as as a band, an or as an artist, mm -hmm. the individual part is Lee Ellis. Right. The the team part is Lee Ellis and Outlaw the Country outlaws. Yeah. and the Outlaws. Um, but you, you, your success depends off of your fans. Exactly. Okay, um, a basketball player himself depends off of the team. Exactly. The, you, you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah, right. sure. A, totally a get it. NASCAR driver depends on his driving. His fans don't make his money exactly. um, unless they're buying merchandise. Right. Mm -hmm. But that's merchandise sales. That ain't winning the damn exactly. race. Uh, so. And his team crew's got to put the tire. Yeah, he's got to yeah, you know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean. It's a whole different ball game. Exactly. So we don't, we're not here to please the deep pockets of some Nashville right. producer right. or executive or somebody that says, oh, this is the way it's got to be because we haven't asked for their opinion or their. Well, it's the same point you, you know, brought up. Here we are doing it here with you. And all these other people we're in competition with, they're backed by labels, backed by sponsors. Exactly. All this, all this money out there, and here we are, you know, on the low on the totem pole, but we're still there, you know, it's, competing it's, right there, right there where they are. What we've done in a year it's compared to what they have done in, three, in four, five, five years, years exactly. with no backing and no, you know, multiple millions right. of dollars right. to be able to do what they have had to do with. Mm -hmm. There's no comparison. Well, it's just, and, you know. And we owe that all to our fans. They're exactly. loyal. Exactly. Dude, they are loyal. If someone dogs us, we don't have to say no, a word. Right <laughs> our fans handle it. I'm telling you, we have a couple of them. We call them mom because when they dog him or I, the moms right get in there and get after them. <laughs> I mean, it, and we thank them for it. It's cool. It's what it's really all cool. going to boil down to is, is, you know, it's a movement. 
Mm -hmm. um, just like an outlaw movement. It's a movement of following your heart, following your dream. Mm -hmm. um, don't give up. Don't worry about what other no, people say. Don't say what they say. Uh, just keep going. You know, if you got a label or um, someone that's, that's willing to take the time and work with you, and we'd be grateful. You know, you you st stick behind them, and they stick behind you. Then anything's possible. Um, yeah, I mean, you may not be, you know, number one on the Billboard exactly. charts for so many weeks, but you know what? Um, you may be number one to a bunch of fans exactly. and live your dream. Well, that's uh, just it. When we walk down the street with those shirts song. on, nobody knows our face because they hear us on the radio. They actually heard it. They said, we know who that. We know the songs. That's Cocaine and Whiskey. This is that. And yeah. all the people playing down Nashville, they don't know their names playing in the bars, but they knew, they hear us. Oh, we hear you on satellite radio. We hear, you know, and that just, that's when I let him, I said, this is surreal, man. I mean, these people actually know who we are and our songs and what we're, you know, it's, that was that was just amazing to walk yeah. the streets. This, this, from what y'all have done, Reminds me of a song I wrote, um, just, you know, talks about being another face in the crowd. Right. Um, when I went to Nashville and, and, and had a record deal and, uh, you know, didn't work out for me the first time. And, it, Bo, you either got to pick yourself up and go back again and do That's it. it. Exactly. Or you can just be another face in the crowd. You know, you can be on the stage. Or you can be looking on the stage. It's up to you to make that choice. You can just be out there in the crowd, cheering on whoever's up there, or you can be the one up there and everybody cheerful, else is cheering exactly. on. So you can either make it happen, or you can just be another yeah, face in the crowd. So um, that's what it's all about. And, uh, you know, y'all have come a long way. And uh, I'm really proud of what y'all done and I'm proud to be able to say you know that y'all are part of 308 Productions um, regardless of where it goes from here if it, I'm just stuck to the new stuff we're doing right now yes. it's very cool what we're doing I mean if 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 you know if this was the end it, right. I would be still saying wow right you know what I mean because yeah. that's this is a milestone. Oh yeah, it's and uh, crazy. it's been awesome, and can't wait to make some more. And, oh yeah, man. and <laughs> wait till next year to see oh, what. Man. It's, it's just going to be. Even, we won't be the green guys anymore. Then we'll nah, be, yeah, we'll be next year's going to be bigger and better. And <laughs> bigger we're going to. I just appreciate you talking him into taking the leash off me and let me go wild for a minute. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, you know, that's what it's all about, man. It's having I mean, fun. Yeah, it's man. outside. We do. We don't. We're not. And that's why we like you because we're not just. Stuck. You do this. You do this. You do this. You do this. Yeah. It's, you just it's let us run teamwork. wild and let us, you know. It's, and I think that's what makes, right? Um, you know, my way of of doing things, as far as a label or as a studio, is is you're not you're not uh, you can't be set in your ways. Right. You you have to have uh, a direction. And you have to have mm -hmm. certain ways of saying this has got to happen and that's got to happen. Right. But you also have to have input from the artists and you have to have input from the musicians of the band because at the end of the day, it's not one person's opinion. Exactly. If, if you don't like it or if I don't like it, we're not going to get out of it what no. we want. No, because if you tell him any control of me or control him, he's not going to play... His best. Yeah, yeah. He's not Everybody going. has to right. enjoy what they're enjoy doing. It, right. And then we get the best product. Exactly. Then once we all come to an agreement, that's when we're all happy and that's when it sells. Yeah. Um, that's my opinion. Um, I know it's not the way it works. And, no. Well, and you tell you, my, my favorite saying is if you put out quality mm -hmm. material, the rest will fall into place. There you go. If you're putting out excellent product, at the best of your ability of what we have to work with, the rest will take care of itself. And I've been in this business for a long time in different genres, and 
And I can honestly tell you, this has been the most enjoyable for me professionally. Uh, I've had the most fun just being me, being a hard right, ass. Yeah. You know, I've been a hard ass my whole career, and sometimes I was thought of as hard to work with. But at the end of the day, I push so hard to have quality that they thank me for it because I would not let up until it was right. Right. And you know, first part of my career, I was very, very stickler about it and not nice about it. Right. Uh, but that's what it comes to. If you're putting out quality, everything else will work its way. And that's what's been so cool here. We've always had that goal, whatever it is, to make it the best it can be. Correct. Because it all goes back to what we talked a minute ago, the fans. Exactly. They're, they ain't going to dig it if they can't listen to it. Right. And... But they can get behind it and love it if if it they can relate to it, and exactly. they can bob their head to it, tap their foot to it, you know. That's all. That's what it's about. It's all about working together. Yeah. Um, like I said, it, it's no one person's opinion. That's right. Um, you got to all like it and enjoy it, and you got to have fun doing it. Um, and if that's the wrong way, then oh well, it's my way. Exactly. So, it works. It works. It works. So, like the song says, we're doing it my way. That's it. That's it. So, I appreciate y'all, gentlemen. All right. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you.